Hey guys, how are you going? And oh, welcome back to another episode of this Cricket 19 career mode. In today's episode, we're playing the fifth and final Ashes Test match at the G. That's on uh, New Year's Eve as well. So there we go. A bit of scheduling, uh, interesting scheduling sort of stuff. But uh, anyway, 4 0 is the current score. Can we get the clean sweep against England in this Ashes series? Absolute scenes if we can. But uh, let's have a look at the Chief 22 uh, headlines before heading out onto the pitch. And I'll welcome back to the 37th edition of the Chief 22 with the main headline reading England's Resolution Prevent Series Sweep. Now, that is thanks to the YouTube member Warren Wingrove. So, welcome to the newsroom once again, lad. And uh, yeah, another Australian win 4 0 in the series. The next test match, of course, is going to be on New Year's Eve. And uh, yeah, I mean, of course, England's Resolution would to. Uh, to be able to win that because they don't want to look at a 5-0 clean sweep but it's definitely on the cards and if we take a look at the uh the headline down below series tarnished by borderline tactic that is once again thanks to warren and uh enough said uh, enough said about that the better because i don't see any wrongdoing in that that is just good quality strategic bowling and uh all in all absolutely got the job done for us so uh we're definitely going to be taking that one or every Australian will be happy with that. I'm sure everyone else around the world we will be having the, a few words about it, but it uh, doesn't really matter. Moving on to the right-hand side here, we've got a bit of news coming out of the England camp with uh, Joe Root to hold press after final test. Your guess is as good as mine is what it could be about. Uh, I mean, it could be pretty obvious here, but uh, we'll have to... It's really going to be uh, noticeable what it's going to be after the fifth and final Ashes test. And one of the main stories coming out of the Chief 22 today is a headline reading, Greatest Australian Test Team Ever. Now, of course, this is relating to uh, the Test Team at the moment, who is currently smashing England. Uh, the quick answer to that one is absolutely not. Uh, I mean, you've got, you compare it against the sides like uh, the Steve Waugh uh, era, the Ricky Ponting era, and it just pales in comparison, really. Uh, but uh, a lot more work needed to be done if this team's ever going to be in that same sort of conversation. Good little caption though, good little headline, whoever came up with that one. But uh, anyway, let's head down to the fifth and final Ashes test. Let's wrap it up and see how Australia get on. Always a cracking read there as we head down to the teams. Uh, we have gone unchanged, I believe. England as well have gone unchanged. Joe Root could be a last uh, test as, uh, as a England test captain. Uh, as we head down to the toss, I mean, we can do whatever we want really, it doesn't really matter, but I wouldn't mind just finishing off the Ashes series, batting first, scoring a thousand, and just winning one innings. I mean, that just seems like the perfect result. But we have won the toss too, so we are definitely going to be having a, a bat first, thank you very much. Walking out to bat here, average just under 50, hopefully we can get that above 50 today. 4 for 222, 4.5 and over, going at a great rate of knots, he's at 48. He's, been at, he's had a great Ashes series as well, and that is a great note to start off. I think Miles Bowling, 2 for 43, and we will be looking to uh, score bulk runs here. We've had a pretty uh, a couple of lean test matches uh, this Ashes series. We started off with a bang. We will get a single there to kick off our account, and hopefully that is one of 100. Lyndon James, uh, about to bowl his 8th over, 4.5 and, and over. I mean, I know... I know run rates and test matches in this game are quite high, but it's just good to see. And uh, that's been driven straight to a mid-off, no run there. Fisher back, 2 for 64 for him, 4 for 236, Australia. Looking for a huge first innings total. That one was full and a no ball, free hit, one it up, surely. That is going to go 4. Going to be the first boundary of the day for us. That is an exquisite on drive. There we go in the gap. Right there for the taking. Pretty slow delivery there from Fisher. 126k. And has been dealt to uh, accordingly for four. Once again. Huge gap there. We are going to be going for it because it's not quick enough to trouble us. And that's going to be another boundary. That's going to put us over the 100 strike rate. 18 off 17. And Fisher's return to the crease is not boded well. And plus the stamina is pretty cooked as well. That's right, we'll go again. We didn't time that one at all well, but we'll pick up a single. You can really tell the England bowlers are struggling. I mean, Fisher, who bowls, what does he bowl? Mid-130s at least. He's struggling to get it to 130 at the moment. I think that the, it's been a huge toll of bowling this many overs. And in Ashes series, it's finally caught up to him. And uh, yeah, as you can see, they're 2 for 78, not great figures. And still, they're only going to be bowling four bowlers. So, I mean, this is just unreal. Once again, it's in the gap, and once again, we'll take full advantage. Go the ball, that should go for four. Well played. 
Oh lord, he bowls a full toss and we're like, cheers lad, we'll hit you for six. Straight back over the bowler's head there. 104 meters, I didn't think we hit it that well. It was a real late uh, decision to bang, go bang there. And right off the toe as well. I was just about to mention that we should be changing the bat shortly, but after that, should we be changing the bat after that hit this 100 plus meter six off the toe of the bat? I don't know. I mean, I probably still will. Not there to cut, lad. 31 of 27. He's at 64. It's all going well for Australia here. And once again, exquisite shot. Found the gap. Uh, it's just another boundary. I feel sorry for these English, England, English bowlers. Um, yeah, they just must be absolutely cooked at the moment. I wonder what their squad's like. No one else in the squad has played. It's a real head scratcher. Or, although, oh well. Good for us, I guess. And finally, we get to see Jofra Archer today. None for 45 of 9. We actually, I don't think I've faced him as much uh, compared to the other bowlers. That's probably why. Right. Nice little whippage uh, to start off. That one could go four, actually. Got a, such a still and aggressive field. 60 overs deep. And the ball not doing anything. You have to wonder what is going on. 41 of 34, just like that. The run rate nearing five. It's a bit of a joke at the moment. Oh lord, we absolutely put everything into that one. Now, got to be careful here. I do kind of want to go over the cover because that guy's there. It was like very short. So any if we get anything on it, it should go over the top. No. <laughs> we have ducked straight into that one. Shake it off, lad. You can tell at this moment when he decides to duck into it, he's fucked up. He's like, yep. It's actually gone straight through the grill. Oh my days. That is going to break a cheekbone. Anyway, we'll shake that off and we'll still try and go over cover. Try and get on the front dog. There we go. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty risk free as long as we get in the right area. That's actually gone for six though. 115 meters. See, I don't get it. Like, that wasn't ideal everything. It was okay. The timing was alright. We've hit up 50 or 41. Six fours, two sixes. It's a bloody party here on this New Year's uh, Day Eve test match at the G. The crowd absolutely launching here. I, was just, I expect that they are going to get pretty rowdy on Swan Street earlier tonight. Or later tonight, sorry. We'll just let that one go through. And maybe we'll even join in the festivities as well. Because this uh, test match is as good as over. 50 or 42. Can we get a day one ton? I will be trying to go over the top once more. No, I won't be... Oh, interesting. Surely that doesn't go for four. Well, the luck is with us today. And that's another boundary. There's a wagon wheel, as you can see. Not a whole lot of scoring shots. But the ones that we have hit have gone pretty well. One shot of the 300. Fisher back. That cover still there. Oh, he's going short of a length here. And it's working well because it means we can't get up under it. If only he found that out 10 overs ago. His figures might not be as bad. He's two away from the town as well. Can we help him get there? Sure can. Sure can. That's going to be four. Crowd absolutely losing it. And for good reason. Fisher back. They've sorted his field out. We move on to 63. Only seven away from uh, Heasler. I think he started on 48 when we joined him. And let's just bowl in the legs. Cheers. Oh, fuck me. What a shit way to get out. What a shite shot. No foot movement whatsoever. Flails the bat at it. That, my friend, is deserving of getting rid of this bat. 67 or 6700 strike rate. 8 fours, 2 sixes. Pretty entertaining knock for the G faithful. But unfortunately, we didn't push on until that big score as Gotch makes his way out to the crease. Can we get 5 400? I don't think 360. Hmm. Okay, things have not gone to plan. But we are about to have a trundle here. We have 223 rickets at 20.96. I'm going to change this field, I think. So we're going to try and get a few more slips in. We'll take that guy out. We'll put him there. Uh, we'll keep the short cover. It's going to be fairly offside for at the moment, anyway. Um, what's this man doing out at square, apparently? We'll put... Uh, we'll just put him there. I think at this point in the series, they're pretty much thinking, fuck it. We'll just try and launch. If we get some runs, we get some runs. If not, then we're out and we don't have to worry about it. And uh, Holden started off pretty well as well, 19 of 27. Uh, enough six for us, I figure slightly ruined already, but we can bounce back. There we go, nice. Oh, I don't know what short cover was there. He's not moving at all. He's paralyzed. 
He is struck down with fear and he's not moving. He's still not moving. Going to abandon the uh, aggressive route here and we're just going to go for a balanced field just to mix it up. Hmm. Same sort of result though as Pope goes bang and hits a delightful four. Okay, we are back. One for 170. Oh jeez, I've been made to me eat my own words. Fair enough. Finally, uh, England have decided to show up in the last match of the Ashes. Hold in 57, route 50 or 63. This batting pitch, it's uh, similar scenes to when India put on, what, 600 plus that, uh, that Boxing Day test. I think Pajara went absolutely bang. Um, remnants of that, so not looking forward to it. But hopefully we can uh, snag a cheeky wicket like that, but not for that result. Looks like we're going to have to go to some short ball areas just to have a look. Oh, how the hell is that missed everything? Okay, here we go. Not sure what's going to transpire, but we'll give it a good nudge. Oh boy. Gotcha boy. You can't be doing that. 61 for Holden. Middle 16, mate, who we have not played for in quite some time. Oh, gotcha boy. Oh, dear. Right, now it's Joe Richardson. Come on, the short ball. Straight to him. Straight to him. Get him. Oh, it's bullshit, but I love it. Well, at least it's worked against someone. And we've got the captain. He had to go for it. Well, he didn't have to, but he chose to. What's that? 42 runs in boundaries. Very quick from you, Joe. As Tadazor, the new man. 46.5, the average. And of course, we are going... Sh oh, no, not short to hold in. Just like stucking it. Oh, I'll tell you what. Nice. Catch it! Oh, you're taking the piss! Why do you drop those? I mean, it could have had two on the over. Delightful edge. Hmm, they're gonna get uh, maybe three there. Surely. Oh, that's out. I can't believe it. Who do you think you are dropping these blokes? A bloody Australian test team and you can't catch sodas? What the fuck? I just can't believe it. Good shot. Great shot. Don't blame him at all for taking that on. It's a good shot. Four more. That's out. No, it's not because it's in the gap. Good shot. Hold in. Probably four. Yeah, fair, fair. So we've had both these blokes dropped and uh, look where they are now. Hope you lads are happy in the field. Oh, catch it. Catch it. That was it. I don't think it's going to be out. No, not even going to challenge it. Did not sound woody at all. Or oh, glovey, for that matter. Let's uh, go again, though. Oh, there we go. That's out. Oh, thanks, lads. Thanks, Joel, with no eyebrows. Love that for you. And finally, we've got our man, Tadazor. He has hit that one into himself. It's popped up. That's unfortunate for you, mate. But he departed for 33. Third wicket for England has... Uh, it's been and gone. Lyndon James, the new man. Now, they only trouble 105, so they could get an alright lead here, but we have seen chokes and collapses. Oh, oh, and then are running for it. Direct hit. Oh, he's out. No, see, this is the start of something new, of something great, of something absolutely standard here for England. He's hit that one straight to the man, picked it up, great camera angles, of course. Direct hit. He's long gone. And just in the space of two balls, we've got both sets batsmen. Hazlitt departs, I mean Hazlitt gets a run out. Holden departs for 92 and Moores is at the crease. Just like that, 4 for 2, 5, 6. Oh my days. Oh my days indeed. Back flick. Oh Jesus. Back again to 46 of 12. England now 6 down. Bannon 3, Moores 15. Catch it, catch it, catch it. Oh, one handed screamer. 3 down. I mean, sometimes it works. Some innings, the short ball stuff works. Sometimes it doesn't. But thank thankfully, today, it is working. As Joffre walks out to the crease. 3 for 46 now. Archer's first ball. He has guided that very well, I might add. Through that uh, backward square leg area. Are they going to go for 3? Wouldn't recommend it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus. Okay, walking out to about 49.65. Uh, England obviously all out. Let's see what they ended up on. 3-3-1. How many runouts there? Just the three. 
Uh, we'll pick the bowlers, I'd say. Now we're 4 for 329. Winter 146. Heasel out there on 55, continuing his good form. It is day three. It is 4 o'clock on day three. We have a lead of 359. Now, this would probably be enough already, but uh, we have plenty of time left in the test match. I'm going to go for a bit of. Just going to try and go bang, I think, as we normally do, because if we get out, we get out. We should be able to get a fair few runs. And that one's been hit straight away for no run. Can we hit a quick 550? Not out, maybe, to get a uh, average of 50 overall. Maybe, hopefully. That's been hit onto the leg side. We'll go for, or oh, it could go for three at least, maybe four if we're lucky. Go the ball. There we go. Four more. Okay, we lost Heasler. I'm calling it right now. If we get a lead of 400, I will declare. Because I'm that confident we'll win. What's Fish going to do? Just watching uh, stand and deliver pretty much. That's four more. Rate of four. 29 more and we'll declare, I reckon. Enough of this. Four more. Easy. Now, hopefully it bowls straight. No, but we're going to go over the top because it's a blue ball. It gives us much more freedom, a bit more risk-free. We just hit the poor bloke for three fours in a row. And now they've even opened up the cover region for some reason. I don't quite understand. Oh, it's no run, but maybe some overthrows. No. Joffre, two for 103 of 23 on my days. He's been absolutely carded. He's going to go short, though, for sure. Yep. That's what we love. We love a little rampage for four. 21 off nine. We love this. Go short again, Joff. I dare you. We will try it again. Probably get caught, but that doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter. We're going the on drive. Classical this time. And that's going to race for four. 396 at the lead. We'll try and hit a boundary here. Oh, I mean, it covers up. If it's, uh, if it's a green pill, we'll be launching over the top. No, it's one of those weird ones that I don't know what to do preemptively. Last ball of the over. I feel it'll be fitting if we go straight for a little block and run, get 399 lead, 400 to win. Yep. Perfect. We will declare, and I'll take that. Okay, here we are. 20.93 the average, 2 for 87, chasing 400. And Pope, 50 or 59, tails off 35, 54. Decent little partnership developing. Yep. This one's been cut away straight away through the cordon. And he will pick up two. See, some innings, this short ball stuff works. Some just doesn't feel like it does. So they've put up the 100-run run partnership as well. So they were two for six at one stage. So they've batted bloody well, Pope and Tadazor. And hopefully we can get in with some bullshit to uh, try and change the match a bit. No. Ducking it well, doing what they should have done in the first innings. We're back. Enough for 13 off a three. England five for two or four. Halfway. Tadazor 100. Well, better, mate. Lindsay the new man. You to face... Nice shot with the back dog. Cat. Mm. Not too bad, Tadazor. Catch that. Thank you. We've got the main man. It's all over. Thank you. Finally, a bit of short ball bullshit. It works a treat. And well, better, mate. But yeah, unstuck in the end there. Now, well, you get those in the big jobs. There's Bahannon, the new man. will be greeted straight away with a bouncer directed straight between the eyes. Oh, he's played that very well as well. He was uh, expecting it for sure. Catch. Oh, you fuck. Bloody hurts, that one. Catch it. Get him. Thank you. It took a while, but we got there again. Another wiki. Cheers. Seven down now, England, for 278. What do they need now? Another 132. Anyway, let's uh, try and wrap it up. Archer, first ball. He's expecting it. Okay, there's no one there. Jeez, played that well. And there it is, lads. We've won by 84 runs. We have completed the clean sweep 5-0 in the Ashes. You love to see it. Man of the match, we were. Hmm, I don't think I would have given it to myself. I probably would have given it to either Hazlet or Winter. But anyway, we'll have a look at the stats. We made 67 of 67 in the first innings. Miles made 6 for, or took 6 for. And they the bowled Tattersall. 5 overs now for 40. And in England, 3-3-1 in reply. They were betting well until a little collapse via the short ball and some dodgy running. 356 or 14 for us there. Uh, with the bat, we made a cheeky 27 of 21 and not out. Declared with them needing 400 to get. It was never going to be enough. I mean, it was always going to be too much. 
as uh, they can only get 3.15 in reply. Pick of the bowls, Stoneman, 3 for 89. And there we go, the 5-0 clean sweep of the Ashes. Anyway, that uh, is pretty much going to be it for this episode. Next up, we are playing three ODIs, I believe, against South Africa. And then some 2020s as well. But uh, So what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm probably going to uh, record a few episodes today. So I do want you guys to let me know in the comments below uh, which sort of bet I should go for next. I'll have a... Uh, placeholder bat in the meantime that will be different and then once I see the comments from the next video I'll be able to change it based on that but I'll let you know when I do change it based on your suggestions but uh, yeah of course no more chew for 22 anymore we are back into some regular international cricket but uh, that is going to be it for today's episode thank you so much for watching if you've enjoyed today's episode please leave a like and subscribe if you're feeling up to leave a comment down below always appreciate reading those but until then take it easy